Well, I'm out on a little stealth camp tonight. This should be fun. I found a lovely bush on a hike the other day and it's kind of hollow inside and I thought I must sleep in that bush. So I'm just out trying to find it again. There's loads of deer about and you know, everything's all green and lovely. Lovely little flowers everywhere. So I'm gonna be doing a stealth bivvy camp today. I'm gonna be using my DD travel hammock bivvy, which I've never used before. I've had a look at it. I've not actually used it and I'm going to be using it as a bivvy and I've got Trichology UL140 sleeping mat which looks really luxurious so I'm going to try that out yeah really cool I just got to find this bush to my little bush. Let's go take a look. Look at that. It's quite roomy for a bush, isn't it? Just having a little look around in here. And I think I'm going to put the bivvy down there. I think there's enough room for it down there and I can tie it up to the branches on either end. So I think that'll work okay. Lots of cover. Don't think I'll be seen there at all. There's a nice little space there. I can do my bush box there as well. The smoke will just go out that gap. Yeah. Right. So I guess I'm gonna clear the floor a little bit. So this is the DD Travel Hammock Bivy. As a bivy. But I think that's pretty good. Yeah, a nice area to sit in there. I love it. My thinking with this is the booby is going to kick the bugs off. Tarp's gonna hit the rain up, but I'm still sort of sleeping outside, so I'll figure out how to fix this up now. I mean, it's not pretty, but I think it'll do the job fine. I think that'll be okay. So this looks pretty rubbish now that the tarp's over it because there's just not enough room to put up a tarp nicely. <laughs> but I think it'll do the job. I think it's fine. That looks like a really nice little area to sleep in actually. I think I'll be fine in there. Cozy, isn't it? I can see out that people can't see in. Great. What I'm doing as well. He's just putting my trekking poles on their max height 
and then use them to pop up this a little bit. Time for some food. I bought my bush box today, which is not very stealth. So I'm just kind of hoping no one comes by. I bought a little foil tray to stand the bush box in. To be honest, everything's really damp, so I didn't actually need that today. That's clear up there, like there's a big gap up there. So nothing's gonna get burnt. Everything's damp. Yum. Hi guys. So I'm going to get my bed set up now. Tonight I'm using this mat for the first time. This is Trichology Aloft UL140. The idea behind this is comfort. It's heavier than my Neo X Therm. I believe that's 490 grams. This is 1.05 kilos, so just over twice the weight. But it's thicker, it's wider, it's got raised edges, so you're nice and sort of stable it's got a pillow section it's got the pump where you pump it up so you don't have to actually blow it up it's just nice and thick and wide so we're going to give this a go see if it makes a difference comfort wise it's going to be a luxury bush camp tonight apparently this is great for side sleepers stops your hips and stuff digging into the floor it is 12.5 centimeter thick and it is 76 centimeter wide i believe so that's quite a bit wider than my xm and i have to say as a side sleeper myself um, my knee is quite often skidding off the mat and getting cold on the floor, so it'll be interesting to see how we do with this. It also claims to be nice and robust, being made of a strong and durable 40D nylon, and it's got a water-resistant coating on it as well. Let's get it set up. Oh, this is so cool, look! Woo! Welcome to my little bivvy. Isn't it cute? Check on the This is going to be well cosy in here. Oh, I love it. Right. So, yeah, I believe this here is the pump. And that's how we're going to pump it up. I think we just push on this and it pumps the mat up. Yeah. Just keep going like that. It's like giving CPR. Hopefully you've not had to give CPR too much. This is definitely more squishy than a person. The mat is up. Look, it looks so big and poofy and comfy. How cool is this? I love it so much. It's actually like sleeping outside. I mean, I know that's what you do when you camp in, but you know what I mean. Oh, I just love being able to see all the green. I'm in such a happy place right now. <laughs> it's amazing in here. This feels really comfy. This mat. I love it. Really nice. I'm thinking about taking the tarp down because I don't think there's any rain forecast overnight. But I don't know if this mesh keeps the dew off or not. I didn't research it before I came. How nice would that be to just look at the sky? I've also got my Trichology Aloft pillow, which I love. Oh my God. I used this for the Bluebells uh, Bibby self camp and I used it 
in Wales on my Snowdon trip and I love it so much, it's brilliant, it's so comfy. I decided to risk it and take the tarp down, which might turn out to be a really stupid decision, but I just feel like I want to see the sky and, well, I want to see the bush and <laughs> I want to feel like I'm really in nature so. I'm all snug in my wrap. Really comfy. I'm loving being in here in this bush. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Night well ones. up in here. So nice. We had a really nice sleep only for about five hours just because of the dawn chorus so loud. Woke me up at four. This mat's been amazing as well. Really really comfy. Really like it. And I've been so warm. Only wearing shorts and t-shirt and in the rab. Amazing so yeah. Really nice night. How nice is it to have this view? And everything stayed completely dry. Like there's nothing, there's no dew on my rab or anything. home now. That Trichology Aloft mat was excellent. It's not something I would take backpacking because of the weight of it. For a little overnight, it's really comfy, really nice. So yeah, I'll definitely be using that again. And loving the Aloft pillow as always. And I really love the DD Travel Hammock Bivy as a bivy. I've not used it as a hammock yet and that's the first time I've used it as a bivy but it was really, really nice just to have the protection from the bugs and whatnot and just feel like you're just sleeping outside. Kind of felt like cowboy camping, but with a nice layer of protection. So yeah, really nice night. Lovely way to spend an evening. And uh, yeah, I'm heading home. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye. That is so cool.